Apple today announced that its 34th annual Worldwide Developers Conference will take place from Monday, June 5th to Friday, June 9th. Like WWDC 2020, 2021, and 2022, WWDC 2023 will be an online event for the most part, and it will be open to all developers at no cost. Now, my favorite part of any Apple event announcement is the image or the event invite that usually goes along with it. The WWDC 2023 image is a simple one. It's just a rainbow or a bunch of colorful arches, but Many people online have already started to take theories to a whole new level. I've seen some people referring to these arches being the headset lenses uh, for the AR VR headset or the shape of the headset band that goes on top of your head, etc. All of these kind of pertaining to the AR VR headset. And it makes plenty of sense that the headset is kind of what everyone is going to immediately since that's the widely rumored main event of the show. And I suppose I could see all of those theories making a ton of sense when it comes to this image. Now, speaking of the keynote, Apple will hold a keynote event on Monday, June 5th to show off iOS 17, iPadOS 17, tvOS 17, watchOS 10, and macOS 14. Plus, again, there could be new hardware announcements. This year, we're obviously expecting to focus all around the AR VR headset that Apple has had in development for quite some time, but we could also see the Mac Pro and a 15-inch MacBook Air. Now, prior to 2020, WWDC was an in-person event that was held in San Jose. But even with events starting to happen again since COVID-19, Apple is still choosing an online-focused event. The online format will allow for more developers to get the WWDC experience, and there are no attendance limitations. And best of all, if you have a developer account, it's free. And so definitely take advantage of that. Now, Apple is still planning an all-day special event for select developers and students, which will take place on June 5th at Apple Park's campus. Attendees will be able to watch the keynote and the State of the Union videos, meet some Apple employees, and attend the Apple Design Awards. Apple held a similar in-person event last year, and so it looks like the company is still doing it again this year. And if you're interested in attending that and you meet the criteria, you can submit a request to attend that event. And those who win, uh, it'll be a random lottery. You'll be notified next week. But of course, I would love to hear from you in the comments down below. What are you most excited about for WWDC? Yes, I finally want to hear more about this headset, but I'm a big software person, so I want to see all of the new features with iOS 17, iPadOS 17, and Mac OS. But again, I want to hear from you in those comments down below. This has been Down with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.